With the release of the best game of all time on Xbox, Switch, and PC, I finally managed to get my hands on a PS5. So I decided to get one now, a year and a half later, cause games have finally come out. I was initially waiting to get like a custom console, like how the PS4 had the white Destiny one a year after, but then they started selling the black plates separately, and they haven't released any exclusive consoles for any of their exclusive games or like games in general, so I just ended up getting it. I was hoping to get like a God of War one last year, cause the game was supposed to come out then, but then it got delayed, and now it's supposed to come out late 2022. And I didn't want to wait until then cause I want to play some of the games that came out. Like the first game being Bug Snacks. This is the console selling game that sold as many copies as Morbius did selling tickets. There are more copies of Bug Snacks sold in Playstations and I'm not just talking about the Playstation 5. I'm talking about every single Playstation. So apparently this game is actually good so I just want to try it out. I might finish it, I might not, it depends on how long it is. The second and third greatest PS5 games are Spongebob and Stray but I don't want to play three of the greatest games of all time back to back cause then it'll just ruin every other game to me. And I don't want to do that to myself. But you've also got Demon Souls. Now, I did hear that the game isn't that good, like that it's outdated, but I am a huge fan of the Souls series and the game looks incredible. So I'm definitely going to try it out. I am still playing Elden Ring right now and I'm currently in Lierna, so that video is going to take some time. But the next game I've got to play is Spider-Man DLC 4, Lost Morales. I've had fun with the original game when it initially came out on PS4, and I feel like I'm going to enjoy this game as well. After all, Spider-Man is a top 2 superhero, and he is a number 2. Batman is number 2, but there's no more Batman games other than like Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad in 2023, but I'm not really looking forward to those games. But Modern Warfare 5 is coming out later this year, probably in like fall or winter, and I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. Infinity Ward actually had time to work on the game, and when they had time, they delivered Modern Warfare, and that game actually got better over time, and the gunplay and everything was amazing. They're apparently using an improved engine from Modern Warfare, so I'd imagine this game to be a step up from that game. If the game comes with Warzone 2 though, I might have to skip out on it. The shit takes up like 100 gigs, and what ends up happening is that they start using their resources on Warzone instead of the game that you pay for. And for Modern Warfare 2019, you weren't able to install Modern Warfare separately on PlayStation 4 because it had to install with Poozone. So if this issue is back, I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I am looking forward for MW2, so like the multiplayer, but I don't care about Warzone 2. I just want to play a good multiplayer game because the last time I had fun playing multiplayer shooters was in 2021 around the time I dropped my Modern Warfare video. I was playing Modern Warfare when Cold War was out. And now I go back and play Black Ops 3 Zombies when it comes to online games because I can't keep playing Modern Warfare multiplayer. But back to single player games, another game I'm looking forward to is God of War 2. But before I play that, I'm gonna have to play the original God of War. I purposely didn't play it on PlayStation 4 because I wanted to play it in 4K60. So now that I got a PS5, I can, and I'll drop a video on it around the time God of War 2 comes out. Hopefully it doesn't delay again, but at least we can speed up the release date by having you guys subscribe to the channel. Only 4% of you guys are currently subscribed, and every new subscriber to the channel sets the release of God of War 2 earlier by a day, and it sets the release of Warzone 2 later by a day. That way it causes an equal balance so that God of War doesn't end up being unfinished when it releases. But those are the games that I'm definitely going to check out. There are other games that I will play, but not anytime soon, like the Horizon game. And it's not because I didn't like Horizon Zero Dawn that much or anything, but it's because I want to play these older games first. And there are other older games that I still need to play, like Walking Amazon Man and Sekiro, so I'm just not going to get a bunch of other games that I'm not excited for anytime soon. Another example being Guardians of the Galaxy. The gameplay didn't grab my attention in the trailer and I thought it was going to be another Avengers game, but then the game is actually really good apparently, and it won best narrative for game of the year. So I will check it out, but again, it'd be later after I play a bunch of older games. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm going to be playing and why it's been taking some time to drop another gaming video. I will be streaming Elden Ring from time to time, so make sure to check out my Twitch in the link in description. And if there's a game you want me to check out or want me to make a video on, then just let me know in the comment section and let me know what you think about the games that I talked about in this video. But that's about it. Later.